Hello everyone, it's Quest Quenchers here today, and I want to do a little player breakdown, like player, cons uh, player customization uh, from the new trailer, No uh, Light, No Fire. Um, I just, I just wanted to see what we could possibly play as. So um, here we go. I'm gonna sh quickly get into it a little bit quicker than my last rambling. So yeah, here we have uh, multiple races here by the looks of it. So it looks like we have like a a horned elf person and then a human i mean and then a really taller human but we don't know because we can't see much so they may have different horns or anything uh, but it's just hiding them and then we have a rabbit too now they're all kind of wearing capes they look like part of like a uh, a guild or a uh, you know a clan or you know some sort of group i'm liking the little armored uh, they all have like maybe it's like yeah we all wear the same armor to know we're in a distinct group because uh, they've all got that shoulder pauldron over their capes uh this one has green one by the looks of it unless it's just like a reflection from the grass or something uh this dude has looks like uh he has a bow so from the far uh far left it's like a bow on his back and uh no backpack surprisingly so i don't know if that's like oh you can take it off and leave it somewhere else there you go, it's a container you carry around with you, maybe. And then this person has, uh, has a backpack, and it's quite nice. It's like a leather one with a bunch of salt chills on it. I think he's carrying a shield with him, and then an, uh, he's got like a sword on his back slightly. And then uh, the middle guy has a bow, and that's about it really. But he has his hood up, which is interesting. And then our rabbit friend at the end has another bow. So they're probably like uh, three archers, and then one dude who likes to get in the center of all the action and then we move on to the the deer guy <laughs> that's what i'm gonna call him because he has like antlers and like deery ears which is interesting uh, but he doesn't seem to have like um the deer kind of physique i don't think he has a snout and all that stuff i think he's like more or less akin to a bosmer from skyrim uh, so he's got like a, an interesting looking backpack i think it might be similar to the the previous one because it has a satchel on t satchel on top and then like a uh, sort of like a barrel kind of thing i think um but he's he's hard to see but he looks very dressed up for where he is at the moment and uh, maybe we see him later in the uh or her later on in the thing and then next we have a really cool uh image so we have what i believe is the first sort of bear person as they don't have a tail um, and stuff like that. They don't. They just have really big hands and really big feet. And he has this amazing glowing sword on his back. I reckon we can craft it at some point to get augments for the sword. So imagine this emits like ice damage or something like that. His arm is fairly normal. That he has no gauntlets on really. He's a uh, you know kind of leather armor kind of thing and looks like he probably just has some boots on or barefoot. And then we have the little uh, antler dude again, so the, the deer or the doe. Um, he's got like a little bit of pauldrons by the looks of it, you know, a little bit of armor. It looks like he's wearing gloves instead of, uh, you know, uh, gauntlets. He has boots on and stuff like that. And then the next guy has really, you know, same again, it's the horned guy from earlier. Uh, it looks like he might have a hatchet on his back. He definitely, oh, uh, just before, go back into the deer folk. He has a really cool backpack like uh it's more like a big satchel with like camping equipment and stuff so it you know that seems like a really cool bag to wear then now back to the uh, like the big horn guy yeah he's very simple pauldrons again similar outfit to the bear guy but just smaller so this might be starting gear and he has a, a little barrel bat uh, backpack and then we have a little otter guy. I believe he's an otter because in the next uh, photo we see a little otter dude. Uh, so I do believe he's an otter. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, he's got a little backpack on. He's got a little armor. He looks really lovely. So in the next image, we have a clearly uh, clearly an otter uh, to me. Uh, the face looks like an otter. The, the You know, and I believe they would have feet and they are quite small. So we can see this character that he, he might have a hatchet or a hammer on his back uh, as there's like a big, you know, kind of like uh, wooden stick. And then it looks like a little bit of like, uh, it might be a uh, like a club of some sort. Um, 
and then his armor is quite nice, you know, like big pauldrons and stuff, similar to the bear we saw just previously. So he's, he's looking quite good, I like, uh, you know, the fur colour and all that stuff, I think it's quite nice, nice and detailed and all good. And then next we see this human, and we're just having a look at the sort of, it's very, like a leather armour kind of thing. Uh, with a little bit of cloth and stuff, belts, you know, the old fantasy is all, you have to be covered in belts apparently. You know, got some nice boots there too, which uh, just looks amazing. And then we got like little red riding hood, <laughs> uh, you know, red tunic, very like, I do get like wizardy vibes, but then I also get like rogue vibes maybe because of the hood uh, and the way the uh, gloves are and the boots are. And, the, you know, it has the little backpack again. It, we can see a little bit better. It's definitely like a leather sort of satchel with like a, uh, a little blanket for, uh, you know, camping somewhere or something or a tent and then we get this sorry it's very blurry <laughs> this image is but that's some sort of lizard or a frog one of the two from this angle it looks like a, like hybrid between a lizard and a frog uh, but i can't really tell or it might be a toad uh, we can see like a really nice backpack like a really nice backpack like it's just a barrel it looks like it's got like a bunch of uh, things on it i believe he's carrying maybe a bow again and his arm is similar to the otter's, and he's got little boots on. So it's, it's quite nice. I, I quite like it. And then in the next one, we have a full-on mage kind of character with a pauldron. On his arm, he's got this cool little hat. So he's definitely wizardy in some way. He's got this nice robe. He's got this amazing looking, uh, what do you call it, cloak with these really nice boots. It's all very fine. It's all very like, yes, I like to keep my image <laughs> kind of thing and it's got an interesting backpack it's like a uh what do you call it? like a basket with like a satchel and then then a uh you know little camping gear again on like a metal frame which is quite nice i love his staff i think staff looks really cool so i wonder if you're firing ice out of it and if uh, so it's more like a projectile i reckon rather than a, you know like a smack smack over the head kind of thing and then the next one, we see, you know, the paraglider again. And it's it's really nice. I love the little ribbons that come in off it. But then I'm pulled to the uh, the player's costume. It's like you've got gauntlets on that has a little bit of tuck of fur and stuff. So maybe it's like, oh, this helps you in, like, colder regions. And this person is just generally looking way more covered. You know, uh, like, it just looks a bit warmer. The backpack, again, looks really cool. <laughs> it's like a... A big block of cheese actually but like it's a satchel clearly with other satchels on it on a on a frame of some sort and it's got really nice boots cool thigh armor cool leg armor so i imagine it would be cut up into like oh you've got your hands you've got your main plate you got your back you got your legs and then your boots you might have your head because i believe i do see someone wearing sort of a mask uh, in some shape or form and then in the next one we have this like very rugged rope uh, kind of like backpack and it's it's really cool it's like covered in a cloth pattern or a scarf of some sort and then we have like a, a little under top uh with like pauldrons and stuff it looks very uh disheveled maybe just got mugged or something um or like um always just beginning his journey you know no real boots no he's not legs not covered his arms are not covered so it's like it's clearly raining and this guy is probably freezing so yeah, and then we have the bunny rabbit, which seems a in similar shape, um, like legs are exposed, I think, but he has his uh, little boots on, um, but he has more armor. He doesn't have a backpack though, but he has something on his back, maybe a little hatchet or something. So he's looking looking really cool. Uh, just the birds have a really nice uh, saddle and stuff like that. They're exactly the same as each other, I think. But yeah, that's it's pretty nice. Then we have a closer look at this, and I, I can neither say it's either like a, a, a red panda kind of looking uh, guy, uh, or it's a bear, or it is generally a bear. Just his face looks very reminiscent of a red panda for some reason, uh, but he doesn't like the fur that's red. Um, but yeah, well, you can see his backpack again, very similar to the others, and his armor and stuff, and it, you know, he, he looks a really cool character. And then we, I believe, this might be a, a pig. A pig with some fluffy uh, gloves on, um, some nice cool armor. Uh, mainly because it just looks like he has a snout and the ears of a pig. But it could be like maybe a wolf too. Um, but 
I feel like it is a pig because he's, you know, he's got a kind of chunky neck. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, uh, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, I think there's going to be a variety of people you can play as. And then we again, I believe this person has little horns, a uh, little bit. I mean, oh no, that's this is a human clearly. That's just the edge of the boat that's making that effect, looking like they've got horns. Now we can see the really fine armor with a pauldron and stuff, similar to the wizard, but in like a blue color with a cape. And they have like a really cool bow and they have like a, it looks like a cooking pot with like a bunch of, sh uh, uh, what do you call them, satchels around it tied to a frame on the back. And that, that looks pretty cool. And then uh, it does really look cool. And then in the next one, we have the little badger guy. I pre in the previous video, I thought he was a headless dude, you know, just waving at him. But no, it's a little badger dude. Uh, it looks very nice, ready for adventure, ready to take you to a, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna take you across the river now. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, it looks, it looks really sweet. I don't know what he's got in his back. Maybe a bow again. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I, I really like how they're looking. And then in the next one we have, I believe it's a, sort of a variant of the deer people kind of thing because their ears look very deery. Um, one thing I did like seeing in the trailer is that the physics on the ears, the ears move as well as with the hair and everything, which is just really cool. And then, so looking at this character, you know, he's got some lovely boots, uh, lovely. So we've definitely got like dying options in here. So like we can die our fabrics and stuff like that. We could definitely call it. I mean, if you go to No Man's Sky, we can change a lot about our character, including like the race and everything and the armors they wear and stuff like that. So I do think as well as colors and everything so there's going to be a lot of customization when it comes to our personal character perhaps we can you know even change their armor and stuff maybe at a you know a customized uh, table or it, that might be the R rpg elements that they talk about like um you know oh you can you know grab armor and upgrade your armor and stuff like that through mining through doing adventures or discovering chests and all that stuff and and you know clearing out dungeons and all that stuff so i reckon it's something it's going to be something like that judging from no man's sky because that's their previous title and i've been investigating that recently and there's a lot of customization so it's it's very i'm very intrigued to see where this uh, what's going to happen within this game and then the other guy he sort of has a mismatch <laughs> and he's got the uh, weird yellow hood I do like the pulling of the bow. It's kind of a nice animation. He has some nice gauntlets on. He's rocking in the red tunic again. He probably has a yellow cape. Um, it looks very nice. He has another thing on his back too. So maybe that's his like, um, you know, probably you probably have your, you know, your bow and then, uh, you know, another weapon you can switch to. Uh, just so it's like variation and stuff. And then this guy here, he's just out beating up crabs with his flaming sword so we definitely got like an we can add definitely uh, elemental effects to our swords uh just having a look at his army it looks very protective he has like uh thigh guards he looks like he has pauldrons he has wrist gauntlets on he has a very cool backpack we've seen before he has some nice armored boots uh just that you know he's lacking a helmet <laughs> Well, that's probably just so you can get a sense of the, you know, the hair and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool, I reckon. And then we have this little dude sitting on a dragon. And he's got like a yellow, you know, yellow cape, yellow hood. A lovely, like, I really like the simplicity of the backpack. It just looks really nice. Probably your basic one that doesn't have much carry capacity. Uh, so you, you probably can upgrade it to get more stuff and to fit more stuff in your backpack. And then we have this guy over here. This little poor either cat or a fox or a raccoon kind of thing. They have a similar sort of look, I feel. So uh, he's he's on like a badass dragon, but he's getting soaking wet. Poor little cat or fox or raccoon. <laughs> but yeah, he's looking really cool. He's got some pauldrons on. He's got like this. What well, looks like it looks very waterproof though. And we we might see him in the next uh, couple of scenes later. And then again. This, for some reason, this reminds me of like a Santa Claus <laughs> kind of reindeer for some reason. Uh, you've got the horns and then you've got this really fluffy armor. You know, he's got like the, where, you know, it kind of needs to be you know, around his gauntlets. Uh, ra I mean, around his like hands and stuff, around his feet. He's got some boots on. He's got a nice red backpack on. 
definitely Santa Santa Reindeer coming to deliver some gifts for us, eh? And then in the next scene, we see this little dude, a wolf maybe, or a cat, or a raccoon, or a fox, uh, warming his hands, and the face looks very odd to me. I think he's wearing some sort of face masks, or a, uh, you know, like a, uh, you know, it, I don't know, it's just something about the middle looks very strange, like a monocle, <laughs> or some sort of mask. Um, he's got like fairy, uh, he's either got fairy gauntlets on or that's just his hands that connects to his torso. He's got like a sword on his back and he's, he's covered in, you know, belts and everything. Got some baggy shorts and his legs go down to there. He looks really cool. I wonder if he is wearing a mask or that's just his, you know, face kind of thing. It looks a bit strange. Then in the next scene, this is definitely a wolf. Uh, you see the snout there, the, the low ears, and uh, and then we have a really nice look at the backpack. I mean, it looks a bit strange, um, you know, like a, a cheese grater for some reason to me. But it's not. It's clearly like material and stuff connected to a frame. You know, your, your basic adventure kind of backpack. He's covered in so it's it's very similar to the other character, but he has a tail, and he's he's just having a nice walk somewhere, eh? And then in the next one, we see a little, uh, I mean, you see the little glowy guy next to him, uh, but this is a frog. He has a really big backpack on, so he must be short stout, but like really, you know, I can carry a lot of things. And he has some sort of weapon on his back, maybe a scimitar. He's, you know, it's clearly a frog because you can see the eye there, um, sort of like jolted out of the head like frogs. Um, he's got some leather armor on by the looks of it, some leather shorts, and uh, yeah, just the right of him is like a, a glowing spirit thing, which is pretty cool. Um, with, you know, beading eyes, but he's like black shadow with beading eyes, it looks really cool. And then we have this little raccoon guy, he looks very similar to the person we saw in the previous video on the, uh, on the previous image with the dragon. So you see like his armor is, I mean, it, it, it looks like cloth and it looks absolutely soaking wet, so maybe... Different arbors have different effects when they're wet. Um, as there is the weather sort of thing that keeps on showing up on the hood. That changes through the, you know, each time. Uh, so yeah, there's like either a fox or a raccoon of some sort. Uh, look at his backpack, it looks very cool. It's very similar to all the other stuff. Uh, I might imagine there'll be more customization through updates and stuff or as the game comes out. Um, it got a very large bow on his back, so maybe like different types of bows. Um, and then we have this dude here. Uh, he's looking a bit uh, like a pointy ear, so maybe like an elf, but he's very tall. He has a nice backpack, cool pauldrons. I always like pauldrons for some reason. They just look cool, very similar to the other characters we've seen. And, and sort of like some... You know, again, he's covered in cloth. He has a wizard, so it might be like the the wizard we saw previously, uh, kind of thing. And then I just want to draw attention to the uh, to the the wolf guy, his little backpack and his pauldrons, like metal strips on him. It just looks, it's it looks really cool. I hope there is like you know, maybe a knightly kind of armor eventually that you can unlock through like collecting materials and all that stuff. So you're like, oh, I'm proper, you know beefed up, armoured kind of character. And then in the next scene we see the uh, the deer kind of folk again with their ears. Their ears like dropping up and down. Um, but we have like uh, the backpack, leather armour, a cool little pauldron and uh, some, you know, trousers and stuff. Nothing really standy outish, but it does look cool and it matches the environment, blends in well. Uh, it is a hot environment though, uh, so maybe uh, I mean, the the looks like uh, no boots on so um, you know keeping legs nice and cool as you gallop by and then this is sort of the last kind of scene before the end of the video uh, I mean there's only one more we see this really cool looking shield and it matches something on the walls so imagine if you do missions for this sort of place faction group clan uh, you can get like a special sort of shield or you might be a part of it um, who knows, you might be a part of this actual faction, so you have the shield that all these guys might have too. You have a cool sort of sword on your back, the armor, and then we, you know, we, we have a look at the bunnies. They're looking kind of 
samurai-ish for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. It's just the pauldrons and the little, um, you know, the little uh, thigh guards look pretty cool. And then we have a look at the otter. He has a big scimitar on his back. Uh, I think in the next image it looks a bit better. Yeah. Big scimitar or something like that. Looks really cool. Nice sword. Uh, I like his armor too. It's very blue, leathery belts and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm an adventurer. I'm a rogue adventurer. I'm a swashbuggling otter pirate. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. I think it's a little, it looks really cool. And then the, you've got the other characters sort of walking by and stuff like that. Similar from the raining stuff. The human does look like he has a different kind of backpack. A bit like Satchel strapped together with a bit of camping gear and stuff. He has a bow. Uh, very druidy. The, the pauldrons are like how it flakes off like that. Um, and again, I just want to bring attention to the the rabbits, their backpacks. They're very uniformic. So they might, it definitely feels like they're a clan. They're rocking a sword on the back. Uh, they're clearly like, wow, you managed to defeat a great enemy of yours. Good on you, kind of thing. Um, which looks really cool. I like the little boots, uh, you know. And it, 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 I'm genuinely looking forward to seeing all the customization we could have. And I think there is quite a bit. So, yeah. And then the last scene, it's, it's hard to make out. But again, it sort of has that kind of uh, body type, um, armor kind of thing as the previous things. So there is, it seems like there is a good amount of customization, but not like, you know, oh, there's so so much customization. There's like good variants that you can mix and match and make your own unique color and unique character, as well as like, you could uh, probably dye your clothes differently. So yeah, that's more or less everything and kind of spotted. If you want to have a look at the screenshots and describe them a little bit more, uh, but I think I did a good job at describing them. But yeah, uh, that's sort of the player customization. I believe it will be like, uh, so you'd have your head for wearing masks or helmets, and then you'll have your torso, and then you'll have your gauntlets, and then you'll have your, your sort of greaves, and then your boots. I think that'll be like the main sort of, you can attach uh, certain things to it. Uh, you can dress that part up, customization kind of thing. And then your, you know, your sword, shield, uh, your bow and arrow and your sort of wizardy wand kind of thing and then you might have some powers because uh, i did see a tweet from uh, i think it was sean mori that you know he has light rpg sort of elements and stuff so uh, you know define light i think light is customization as well as like you know uh, your uh, your swords and shields and stuff like that uh, so you can level them up as you go by but yeah, that's been me. I'm. I do apologise if my voice is a little bit croaky for some reason. Um, I think my voice is <laughs> failing me right now. Uh, but yes, that is the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, uh, please talk more about uh, what you see. If you see anything more than I do, uh, do say about the custom player customization. So yeah, that's all from me. Uh, I'll see you next time. Have a lovely Christmas and and holidays. Uh, so yeah, goodbye.